Elementor is a leading WordPress page builder that allows individuals new to WordPress to simply build and design website pages with a visual building experience, making building a website an absolute breeze for complete beginners. Hey guys, Stuart here. I hope you're all well and having a great day. Now today I'm going to gently take your hand and walk you through this Elemental tutorial for beginners with a focus on equipping you with everything you need to know to get started with Elemental's free page builder in 2021. Okay, now before we launch into Elementor, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and get you up and running with Elementor's free page builder. <music> Okay, so getting started with the free version of Elementor, the first thing we need to do is log into our WordPress dashboard. Now, before we dive into Elementor, it's important to understand the difference between building website pages with WordPress versus building your website pages with Elementor. For example, if we were to build our WordPress website pages without a website builder like Elementor, what we would do is navigate over to Pages or Posts. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to navigate over to All Pages and then navigate down to this Test Page and click here. And if we were building this website page with WordPress, we would have to build it in the back end. However, with Elementor, what we're doing is building our website pages on the front end using a visual builder, meaning you can visually build your website, which is a lot easier than building in the back end, and you can make changes in real time. Rather than going back and forth from here where you design your page and then heading over to the preview changes back and forth consistently to see your changes. And this is where Elementor comes in. Now there are two ways that you can quickly install Elementor onto your WordPress website. The first way is to head to Elementor.com and that will take you to their website or you can click the link in the description below this video. Then what you want to do is head over to pricing. And then down here you can see all the different pricing options for the paid version of Elementor. But if we scroll down you can see get started with Elementor for free. And here all you want to do is click get started, follow the step by step process with signing up with Elementor and then you'll be prompted to download the Elementor plugin. Then once you've downloaded the Elementor plugin simply head back to your WordPress dashboard. Then all you would need to do on your WordPress dashboard is navigate down to plugins and then select add new and then navigate up to the top and click upload plugin. And this is where you'd simply upload the zip file that you downloaded from Elementor's website and then just install and it's as simple as that. Now you can also go ahead and search for Elementor. If we come down here we can search for the plugin by typing in Elementor. And then if we scroll down, you can see that we have Elementor over here, which we've already installed. You can see that the Elementor page builder is extremely popular with over 5 million active installations of the Elementor plugin. So those are two ways you can quickly get started with Elementor. Now what we want to do is show you how to use Elementor's free page builder so you can start building your website pages. So what we're going to do is show you how to use the Elementor page builder by simply heading back to all pages and then we're going to locate our test page. If I come down here you can see our test page. I'm going to simply click on the page. And then like we mentioned before, rather than building your website in the back end with WordPress, what we want to do is click edit with Elementor. Give Elementor a moment to load. And just like that, we can start building our website pages with Elementor's visual drag and drop builder. Now over on the left hand side, you can see all these widgets over here. These are essentially elements that you can add to your website page. Now. It's important to note that your website page is made up of sections, columns and widgets. Again, these are widgets on the left hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building this website page. First, what we want to do is click this plus icon and select a column structure. We can have a single, double, triple and more column structure types. What we're going to do is simply click this double column structure 
And then over on the left hand side, you can see some layout editing options. So this is our layout over here. Now within our layout, we can add widgets. For example, if I click here, we can navigate over to the left hand side and access more than 40 free widgets with Elementor's free plan. For example, if I wanted to drag this image, I can drag this image module and place that in here. And then like I mentioned on the left hand side, we can customize this widget. So we can choose an image, we can simply upload an image here. Then we have some editing options down here. We can change the image size, the alignment, add a caption or add a link. So if someone clicked on the image, that could take them to a specific link. Then let's say we wanted to add another widget over here. What we could do is navigate over to text editor and simply drag that widget over to this column. Now to edit the text, all I would do is navigate over to the left hand side and simply edit this text the way that I wanted to. We also have simple formatting options up here. Now each widget you can customize the way that you like. For example, with this text editor, I can click style and under style we have alignment so I can change the alignment let's say centered that's going to center align my text I can change the text color I can navigate down here and change the text color if I like then we can change the text style so for example I can change the font and select the font that I want to use and then you have other settings down here that you can play around with now if we click back on our website page what we can do is go ahead and add another section. I'm going to select single and then navigate up to the section and click the plus icon. And now what I want to do is embed a video. So I can simply drag and drop the video widget. And then down here you can see I now have a video. What I can do is edit the video by simply pasting in, let's say, a YouTube video URL. And then down here I have other basic settings. Then we can navigate over to style again. We can change the ratio of the video if we like. Let's say we want to go one by one. We can do that if we like. Now, once you've made any changes to your website page, just come down to update and click update and that's gonna save all your changes. We can also navigate up to the top left-hand corner where you see the three lines. And then down here, we can exit back to our dashboard if we wanna go through the same process and edit a different page, or if we just wanna navigate back to our WordPress dashboard. And to continue customizing this page, just simply click on the website page or navigate up here and click here. And that's gonna take you back to these elements, these widgets or modules that you can use to build your website. So remember, like I mentioned, you have access to over 40 plus basic free modules that you can use to customize your website page. However, if we keep scrolling down, you'll notice this pro over here. If you decided to upgrade to a paid plan, you'd have access to more templates and widgets to further customize your website pages. However, today we're just gonna focus on Elementor's free plan because it's sufficient for complete beginners. And with the free plan, you also have access to free pre-made templates, meaning you don't have to build from scratch like we're doing now. You can actually use pre-made templates that have been professionally built and you can actually customize those the way that you like. To do that, all we need to do is navigate down to this folder icon, click here, and that's gonna take you to these templates. Now down here you can see with the little pro icon in the top right hand corner, these are paid templates. However, with the free plan, you have access to these up here. So for example, if you like the look of one of these pre-made website templates, what you could do is simply click on the template and that's gonna allow you to view that pre-made template. If you like the look of it, what you can do is simply click insert. And then down here, you can see that that template has been imported into our website page. Now, similar to what we mentioned before, you can customize the sections, columns, and widgets the way that you like. For example, up here, I could simply click this pencil icon to customize this element over here. I could navigate over to the left-hand side and change the text, change the title of this element, and then change the icon and upload my own image or icon. Then remember to make any changes, just come down and click update. Then if I wanted to edit a section background, for example, the template imported this section here, what I could do is come down 
and where you see this pop-up I can either add a new section I can edit the section or I can delete this specific section so what I would do is click edit section and that's going to bring up some options to customize that section and within that section you can see that we have one button widget here we have a large text title widget and then we also have a video widget within this section so it's very easy to import pre-made templates and then simply customize each section column or widget the way that you like for example you can also come down here and simply click on the widget to change that widget so i could delete this pricing figure and add my own and I could do the same down here by simply clicking here and then typing in what I like. So basically Elementor allows you to visually make changes on the front end as well as making changes over here on the left hand side or in the back end. Now if you don't want to import an entire page what you can do is actually just import specific sections. So if we come down to the bottom and click this folder icon again and then navigate up to blocks. Basically blocks are sections that you can add to your website page. So for example, if we navigate over to category and let's say we want to add our contact information, maybe we're building a contact page. So if I click contact, that's gonna generate these contact sections down here. And again, many of these are pro, meaning you do need to upgrade to the paid version of Elementor. However, what we're going to do is navigate up here. I like the look of this section here. So what you would do if you found a section that you wanted to import into your website page, what you would first do is view the section. And if you like the look of that specific section, that specific block, then navigate up to insert. And just like that, we've inserted the specific block template. And now what you can do again is customize it the way that you like. And as a complete beginner getting started with Elementor and a visual builder, we recommend using the pre-made templates and blocks so you understand how the sections, columns and widgets work when building website pages. It gives you a blueprint for you to follow and simply customize the way that you like. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in Elementor's free plan to help you get started with visually building your website pages. Take the time to play around with your sections, columns and widgets and with practice it won't take long for you to get the hang of how Elementor's visual drag and drop builder works. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Elementor tutorial for beginners. You should now be confident with using Elementor to build your WordPress website. Now if you have any questions about Elementor's page builder make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, remember to leave a like below this video, subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.